welcome. This online session is one of a series of mindfulness explorations of artwork and objects held in the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery. As part of the slow art movement, we're going to invest some time in pausing in our busy lives to look, to breathe and to be curious. We are going to focus on this shirt made from chain mail. It is thought to have been made in the 14th century and altered much later, possibly in the 19th century. Before we begin, make sure you're sitting comfortably with your feet placed on the ground. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. As you breathe, be aware of any tension in your body, particularly across your shoulders. Try to release that tension as you focus on this moment. Let your thoughts ebb away. Try to stay in this moment if those thoughts return. Now this piece of armour was found in the skip of a reclamation yard in Shropshire, presumably discarded from one of the county's historic houses. It is called a hauberk and looks like it has had quite a journey. It is thought to have been made in southern Germany or northern Italy sometime in the 14th century. Many examples of medieval England's armour were made in these centres of excellence and used in warfare in this country. Each wrought iron wire loop was made by hand, attached to one or more loops and then riveted together. This chainmail shirt has many thousands of metal loops and weighs over 10 kilos or 22 pounds. We can only wonder who wore this protective shirt over many centuries and in possibly many different countries. This was an expensive piece of armour to make, so it would originally have been worn by a wealthy nobleman. Imagine the ritual before going into battle of putting on your padded jacket to provide some comfort under the armour, then the metal hauberk adjusted on top and then the final plate armour. How protected would you have felt? In our modern world, we also use protective clothing, maybe not always made from iron rings, but serving a similar purpose maybe. Think of a favourite item of clothing you might wear that makes you feel strong or protected. This hauberk was made to fit a man who was under five foot seven or 1.7 meters with a chest of 34 inches or 86 centimeters. Under close examination, we can see that it has been altered to fit a much larger man as extra links were inserted under the arms and the neck has been enlarged. Over time, as weaponry has evolved, this type of armour fell out of use. It wasn't going to afford much protection from cannon fire or gunshot. Its fortunes were revived in the 19th century as it possibly ended up in the Sudan in North Africa. After the Battle of Ormdurman in 1899, similar pieces of armour that had been adapted by the Sudanese soldiers were brought back to England as souvenirs of war. Maybe the heft of the chain mail provided some reassurance of the danger ahead. Just as when we are weighed down by life, the stress would have fallen mainly on the shoulders of the wearer of this chain mail shirt. Imagine the feeling of release when the soldier could finally remove the shirt after the battle had ended. Recall the comfort and protection of a heavy blanket to sleep under or a warm winter coat on a cold day. It can be reassuring to be underneath such things, but then sometimes a relief to throw them off. Keep those thoughts of comfort, protection and reassurance with you as you breathe in and breathe out slowly. 
Thank you for taking time to look at this piece of armour from the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery.